Hey kids, welcome to unit three, lesson four, array algorithms, exercise number one. We have a, what do you think this program does? This program contains a double array containing the happiness levels on a scale of zero to 10 of the following top 10 cities in the world for healthy living in order. So it looks like our happiness is Amsterdam, Sydney, Vienna, Stockholm, Copenhagen, Helsinki, Fukuoka, Berlin, Barcelona, and Vancouver. And then we tell code.org what we think this program does. Let's look at the code first. We have our array happiness. It's a double. We have our values we're entering here. We're not going to comment on the fact that our happiest cities don't even get a C plus. Down here, we're instantiating a new object, my countries. It's from the class countries. Looks like it is passing along the array as a parameter. We're creating a new variable status, which is a Boolean, and that equals my countries, the object we instantiated, and it's running some method has happiness over seven. Then we're printing off all countries greater than seven equal status. Well, let's look at our countries class. We have one private array data, it's a double. We have one constructor, it takes our array. And down here we have our has happiness over method. As you can see, it's a Boolean and it takes one parameter, a double value. And that value was that number seven from my console. We have our for statement. As long as our index is less than our length of data, data is the array from above, we're going to progress through the loop. If the data at any index is less than the value, this method is going to return false. Otherwise, it's going to return true. With that knowledge, what do I think is going to happen? Your first inclination might be, it's going to print off how many countries are over seven. Our variable here is a Boolean though, so that could only be true or false. And if we look at our code, this is pretty much saying if any of our numbers in our array are less than the value, then we're going to return false. Our value seven definitely have some countries under seven. That means I think we're going to get a print off that says all countries greater than seven. And then under status, we're going to get false. Well, let's see if I'm right, kids. And it looks like it printed off exactly what I thought. Key takeaway from this lesson is how we can start processing data while we loop through it. This is a very simple example here. We're going to loop through the data. And if any of the data is below a certain threshold, we're going to return false. Otherwise true. As we progress through this lesson, I think we're going to learn a bunch of different techniques to filter data. Hopefully kids, this video helped you understand array algorithms. As always, if you have any questions, come see me. Otherwise, I'll see you on the next video. See you later kids. Bye. Bye.